This is a how-to video on installing a screen on a Dell Inspiron N7010, also known as Dell Inspiron 17R. Thanks to the great people at ScreenCountry.com, I ordered a replacement screen and I received it within two business days of ordering. And they have screens for just about every type of laptop. Now, the only tool you should need is a Phillips number one screwdriver and as you can see this screen is completely shattered if your laptop is on just power it down by holding the power button after it's fully powered down then you can begin to remove the screen and all you have to do for it is this black border take your fingers and start on the inside close to the screen and just gently pull until you hear it snap and it is the little latches unlatching you go all the way around on the tops and corners can be a little tougher but don't don't put too much force with it to where it breaks the clips because then it'll be hard to clip it back on after you're finished and then set it aside. Now you can remove the two top screws and lean back the rear plastic housing which is the procedure I'm going to do or you can remove the two top screws and the six lower screws and the whole screen will lay forward but you have your wire right here that runs down to connect to the motherboard and removing all the screws is a greater chance of breaking the wire so I'm just going to remove the two top ones and then once you get them out of your way You can pull back the back housing not too much because it will crack it and there should be at least four bolts this one has three but normally there's four bolts on each side there are four screws you just remove them Be careful once you get one side fully unscrewed because the screen may fall like this one. And spin it around. Repeat the same steps on the other side to remove the screws, which this one also only has three screws. Sometimes they're a little pain to get out. Set it aside. And then gently let the screen lay forward. There is a wire right here that sometimes can stick to the back of the screen. And you want to come down forward, come down slowly with it. In case that wire is attached, it will not rip it because it runs to your webcam. Now it's kind of hard to show. I'll show you on the new screen. The connector is down here. It'll be on the lower right hand side for the screen. And sometimes it's fairly easy and sometimes it's a pain in the butt to unplug. 
there's a piece of tape holding it in place. Just work with it and it pulls straight down towards the bottom of the screen. Then you take your old screen, move it out of the way, put the replacement up, plug it back in. Make sure it's clicked in good. Put the tape back down. And if the wire come out of the holder down here, just make sure it sits back in there so the front cover piece will go on right. And you can remove the tape that's holding the protective film on from when ScreenCountries.com send it to you. Take one of the little side screws and start back in the hole. Just to show that it's repaired, I'm only going to install two on each side for right now. Let's go to the other side first, get it even. Now it doesn't take a whole lot to do this. It's fairly simple but there are tiny screws so it may take some patience to deal with it but it should all be worth it in the end if you love your laptop like my wife does with this one going to put in the top corner ones for right now to hold the screen in place so it's not flopping. And just to show you how easy it is for the cover, just lean it back a little. Line it back up in place and just squeeze it together and it'll just click on. And then we power up the laptop and there's the new screen. The computer does not do the screen justice. It looks just as good as the factory. It's the glossy finish. And uh, thank you for watching the video.